long, long ago, there was a star. It was about the same size as our sun. If you look from the planets around it, star seems just like we see the sun. These stars and planets lived peacefully for billions of years. And maybe one of the planets was inhabited by creatures that could think like us. But after a while, this source of light and heat gradually began to be weird. The star was growing vaguely. For years and centuries, this growth continued slowly. And in the end it began to be more dangerous than beneficial. If the inhabitants had enough technology, they would have to evacuate their planet because they also knew that the star was about to do something very destructive. This small star ejected its upper crust into space a few thousand years ago. At a speed of 40 kilometers per second, hot plasma was scattered throughout space. Although they cooled over time, they moved through the space for thousands of years without stopping. At that time, we built our first temples in the world. We built kingdoms, destroyed cities, discovered new continents, fought world wars, and found nuclear weapons. And finally, by developing a space telescope, we were able to see what that star was doing. The core of the star, still twinkling in the center, it's not as big as it used to be, because now, it's a white dwarf. The scattered pieces are still on their way. Can you spot those tiny dots over there? Small balloons with tail. You can fit the Sun, Venus, Earth, Jupiter, and Saturn, and even Pluto into each bubble. If we can count correctly, there are 40,000 balloons in this nebula, and each of them acts as a shield that has managed to stop plasma. Perhaps these shields were a planet. This blue circle is about a light year in diameter. The dust particles in it are at a temperature of 1500 degrees, but outwardly they get colder because they are stopped by the cold interstellar This giant eye has expanded throughout our entire civilization, reaching a size of six light years. It's much bigger than our solar system. But how? This star was perhaps even smaller than our sun. The answer will actually come out over time. But because in the future, the sun will do the same. As it gets older, it will grow bigger and hotter. And it's going to throw our planet out space. On the distant horizons, a circle of clouds will form, just like this one.